everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning in to the masculine energies and we can jump straight into the message straight away. It's the first card. We have the Eight of Cups. So normally this card is about <coughs> walking away th from unfulfilling things. There being something missing, walking off, well, basically into the darkness to try and find what's missing. But with this deck, it also says evolving. So the Divine Masculine is evolving. And as a result, well, he's re evolving as a result of his Divine Feminine's healing work and her personal evolution. And... Also, um, as a result of this evolution, his tolerance for things that are less than perfect is going down. Just like, just like as you progress and as you grow and evolve, you'll find your tolerance of certain things will go down as well. Things that you used to be able to put up with you won't be putting up with any more and that's good you don't want to settle for anything other than absolute perfection in any area of your life and the masculine is feeling inspired to do the same he doesn't want to settle anymore he wants to move forward he wants to find Fulfillment, he's seeking fulfillment. So, what's this un unfulfilling thing that he is walking away from? Karmic partner. Yeah, he's realizing that he can have it all after all. That he doesn't have to settle for fake love or mediocre relationships, temporary relationships, fake relationships. He knows there's something missing and he knows what's missing and he's actually finding the courage to go after what he desires. Devil obsession. So on the one hand, he may be releasing, walking away from toxic energies in his life, things that were keeping him bound, keeping him down, keeping him stuck, keeping him from being fully alive. It's possible that there may have been some obsessive sentiments for a time regarding a karmic. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be a place or a habit or a thing. But that's okay. If this Divine Masculine had to go through a catalytic or a false twin experience in order to come into union with his one true love, that's okay too. Bear in mind that catalysts can be intense connections, really intense connections. But once you've found your one true love, that old connection, the catalytic connection, gets released very easily and instantly becomes completely meaningless like it never happened. So going back to the state of cups, so what's he walking towards even if he is having to find the courage to walk through the dark to find the light? What's he walking towards? Ah. You couldn't make it up, could you? Union. He's being drawn 
towards the light and it's your heart like this guiding him home you are really desiring for him to see your light to see your heart light to be magnetized to that light and that's what's happening he's seeing it more and more he's becoming more and more aware of it be open to a communication from an unexpected place so don't worry about what he's going through what he's experiencing because this journey is just about you and the divine the divine is orchestrating everything and so there's no need to have any control or expectations about how it will pan out there's no point even trying to think about it because it will probably be the one thing that you didn't think of so just allow and receive I accept my divine partner for who they are, lovingly embracing their unique self. So, even if there's things about them that don't look perfect right now, that's okay. It's okay and very liberating to be able to accept your person as they are right now. who <coughs> except who they really are and love them for who they are their unique self and just love them unconditionally for who they are because only only his true twin flame has ever actually loved him for who he is other people may love him for his what he does, for what he's got, his money, his status, his sexy booty, but only his true twin flame loves him for who he really is inside, who he is at the core, who he is as a soul. And he's saying, I miss you regardless of how things seem. He does know. It's you. He, he does know what's missing. He does know that it's you that's missing. Put him all over the place. That you are the missing piece. That you have the missing piece of his heart. That you have the keys to his heart. And he is not going to put up with being without you any longer. He's coming back. The Hermit in Reverse. So maybe this is another sign of forward action, an offer, a communication. Perhaps he's been taking time to go really deep into himself. Almost to the point of perhaps even cutting himself off, cutting off communication while he goes through this bit of the process. But as it's in reverse, it looks like he's coming out of this state of introversion and contemplating his next step i.e coming forward 
Because the hermit looks within to gain self-knowledge and come to conclusions about future directions. But he does not, however, remain away from others permanently. After withdrawing into himself to listen to his inner messages, he's ready to reach out with greater awareness and inner composure to you or to the people around him to create and deepen relationships. Mm, that feels pretty complete, short and sweet. I think we've got a lovely message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.